In today's video, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about the newly approved medication tirzepatide or Mounjero. So first off, what is tirzepatide and how does it work? Tirzepatide is a GIP and GLP-1 receptor agonist. It selectively binds to and activates both GIP and GLP-1 receptors, which are targets for native GIP and GLP-1. Tirzepatide enhances first and second wave insulin secretion and reduces glucagon levels. It conducts both of these actions in a glucose-dependent manner. Tirzepatide lowers both fasting and postprandial glucose concentration, and it decreases food intake and lowers body weight in patients with type 2 diabetes. Now, before somebody was to use tirzepatide, there are some precautions that should be mentioned. There's an increased risk of hypoglycemia when tirzepatide is used alongside of insulin or insulin secretagogues such as sulfonylureas, so dose adjustments may be necessary in this situation. It should be noted that patients using GLP-1 agonists in the past have sometimes had problems with their gallbladder, so this would have to be monitored if patients use terzepatide. Patients would have to use caution using terzepatide if they experienced anaphylaxis or angioedema using other GLP-1 agonists in the past. And lastly, acute kidney injury or worsening of chronic renal failure has occurred in patients using GLP-1 receptor agonists in the past. There are two contraindications for tirzepatide or reasons the patients would not be able to use this medication. One of them would be if a patient had a family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma or MTC and the other would be in patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2 or MEN2. Now let's talk dosing. Initially, patients would start off with 2.5 milligrams given subcutaneously once weekly for four weeks. They would then move up to 5 milligrams given again subcutaneously once weekly. If after four weeks additional glycemic control is needed, patients can move up by 2.5 milligrams once weekly every four weeks to a maximum dose of 15 milligrams given once weekly. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using terzepatide, so we'll go over some of those here now. Abdominal pain seems to happen in 5 to 6% of patients. 6 to 7% of patients may experience constipation. 5 to 11% of patients may experience a decrease in appetite. And diarrhea seems to happen 12 to 17% of the time. 5 to 8% may experience indigestion. And nausea can happen 12 to 18% of the time. Vomiting comes in at a rate of 5 to 9%. Two serious side effects of terzepatide would be acute kidney injury or angioedema. And that's all we're going to talk about today with terzepatide or Mangero. And just before you take off, I wanted to let you know that you can pick up a copy of my new book, the fifth episode, Inside the Manic Mind, by clicking on a link in the description of this video. Take care.